Alright, we got Ron, David, and Scott. Good, alright, good start. Make sure we know who the possession arrow is set and the possession arrow is not set. Make sure we get that possession arrow set too. We have purple at the tip, so white ball next. Get that possession arrow. So little things. We gotta make sure we got we're doing everything. We gotta assume that the table doesn't do their job. We just take a quick glance. We gotta know the scoreboard situation, every opportunity. Let's so always be engaged. Just caught the end of there. If you're marking the three, make sure the three is nice and high. Straight arm up. That is correct. That is the correct call. If you're in bounds, we just play on. You're part of the court. But you were standing in the line, so you're out of bounds. Hey Scott, good, good. I was just to say, get over there, rotate, but it's good not to rotate, and the shot goes up. Good, David. Like how you moved to improve your angle. You're you're off ball now. Good. On that one, Scott. Like you see, you get a little closer. So let's get a little closer. His trail there because he was on the uh, far edge of your primary. Good, another tough rotation. I agree that you shouldn't have completed that rotation on the drive. But I like just pinch the paint and you're ready to help the C for any fouls that happen in front of that uh, ball player's body that the C would not be able to see because he'd be looking through his back and get straight line. Hey, good, Ron. I like your positioning. You completed your rotation. Scott, did you pick it up? Yep, good. Hustle down, receive the play. Scott, see where you're standing? Okay, if, if the ball's on that side, I'd just like to see you take a few steps closer. All right, Ron. Ron, we don't want to call three seconds unless we absolutely have to. That's one of those that you just tell them, get out of the lane, get out of the lane, get out of the lane. That's just a game interrupter. He gained absolutely no advantage in there. Okay, get over there, good, good, Scott. Guys picked up that rotation a little late. Get your three-point signal up, Ron. That was a three-point shot. You need to mark that it's a three-point attempt. And then don't bail. Shoot her up, shoot her down. Again, Scott, you're, you're as far away as possible. That's, that's not what we want. You want to be engaged in the play. And especially as trail, you got a long way, 60-40. So general rule, just one step deeper than the deepest player. See now, you, see how you moved in to sell that call? That's good, but you wouldn't have to move in to sell it if you were there already. So that's what I mean, get, get a little closer. Two or three steps makes a huge difference. You're gonna get a better look at the play, and you're gonna be able to sell it more as well. Proximity. Good no call. Ron, so just stick your hand up. That's a that's a everyday easy play. Doesn't need any extra emphasis. Hand up, direction and color. 
Of course it was tip. That's we just need the color of the team that's gonna throw the ball in. Close down and rotate. Good. Good David. Now you're what? Don't bail, Ron. You're you're leaking out. A C. Absolutely no reason to ever have to leak out. No hurry is C. Yeah, I would say you're even is even a C there, Ron. You take your time. Good, Ron. I see you glanced back just to see if there's any backcourt pressure. There wasn't, so you can get out of there. David's got that one-on-one -on -one matchup. All right, Scott, I want to uh, see you try to rotate more. You could have rotated there. Again, like uh, Mike said before we even started out outside, look for reasons to rotate. More is better than less. Good rotation, Ron, but don't take your eyes off that post. Don't, no, you shouldn't be looking out there at all. You shouldn't be looking out there, Ron. Hand up, hand up, and direction. White. Again, a little quicker. Uh, if we were a second quicker, we don't have that issue. Every time there's a dead ball, a C or T, just glance the table, look for subs. Put your hand up, stop the clock, and if you need help, yell help. Again, that was a pretty easy one. I mean, he was right in your primary, the whole shot and everything. You should have saw that it was tipped. Good get is C. That's a classic C call right there. Nice call. Push in the back, that was an easy one. Good get. Those are the calls as C we gotta get. sure what you're talking to that player about, Ron. But it distracted you because you didn't chop the clock in right. Report to foul. Report to foul. Report to foul. Now you can go. You have plenty of time to talk to the coach. There you go. Just sidle up next to him. Explain it. Say, Coach, judgment call. Call been made. This is what I had. Got your answer. Let's move on. Don't, don't give him any more firepower than, it, than he needs. It's a judgment call, Coach. We got to move on. Let's go. sold it, David. Um, again, I think that's a call. It doesn't really need to be sold. Say, so, boop, hand check, baseline. That's it. They know. They know the rules. Points a point of emphasis for three, maybe four years now. Hands off. Yep, there you go. You caught yourself. Scott, don't look out there. Good no call. Mark the three, Ron. Got to mark it. Well, we're a little late on that. A lot of times guys are a little too early on that, but you're a little too late. Shot goes up. 
Once it's off his hand, then you can mark it. And you're marking it super late. All right, Scott. There you go. Good. He had a late rotation. Good pickup. Good outside hand, uh, marking that three. David, get down here. Say, Ron, you didn't pick up that rotation here. See there. Good strong mechanic, David. Good strong stop sign. Managing subs, a great dead ball opportunity to look good. Great get. That's textbook. That's C or T's call. An awesome job, Scott, of staying disciplined and not looking up. Never should the lead have that call. Good job. Visible 10 second backcourt count every time, Ron. We're supposed to do it even when there's no pressure. You just never know. They bounce the ball off their toe and they have to go back and get it and then, then we're guessing. I don't necessarily like it. Sometimes it's unneeded counting, but that's what we're supposed to do. We've got nothing else to do. Good one-handed mechan mechanic, Scott. Team actually has pretty good flow for the ball not going in the basket. That was weird. Ooh, ooh. Uh, I'd like a foul on 30 there. A lot of body. And 32 got his whole body twisted and contorted. There too, good. Yep. Good call, the right person called it and only one person called it because it's solidly in your primary. Good mechanic. One little tweak is I'd say, uh, instead of counting it with your fist and sticking your fist out like a team control signal, just two fingers. Count it with two, just a little thing. And there's no confusion. Because on some of those, you could be counting it with your fist and people might mistake it for a charge call if it's like a block charge. There we go. Okay. 13 minutes went off the clock before we finally got the arrow set. That's what I talked about right off the tip. rotations. So we got the luxury of this game being on video. Just take a look at that play and the camera would add a great angle and just let me know if you still agree with that call. That just proves that we don't have good communication. We're not making good eye contact. We did three point check every time. All three of you need to be looking at each other. And again, David, you're the last line of defense. You can't be putting that ball into play when your partner's not ready.
again, we can't screw up a dead ball. Well, we can, I guess. We don't want to screw up a dead ball. I would have liked you to rotate. I would have liked you to rotate. Good call. And that is your call. Totally your call. That's on outside the lane and see that's your call all the way. So anyway, back to that previous possession, David. You, you should have rotated. The ball was on that side for a long time and, and you would have had a lot better look. If you would have had to call a foul there, you would have not in, you were not in position to make that call. Now this last Okay, again, that's two in a row, you guys. Make sure you make good eye contact. No hurry on a, on a dead ball. Good, you're in perfect position to make the call, but you need to stick your hand up and stop the clock. I always like on those to clarify, and you said it really loud, you use your voice well. Out of bounds, and I usually point, point to the line, and everybody in the gym knows what happened. Goes down, rotate, good. Okay, we'll talk to these guys in the post, just say easy guys, easy. See him, you see him jostling, a lot of, and it's a great preventive officiating opportunity. It's amazing how they, nine times out of ten, they respond to that. Just a little mental check. Again, we want a hand up to stop the clock. We have good mechanics. We want to reach our officiating goals. I like that call. I like that call. Because I mean, that's the, that's the dumbest fouls in basketball. You foul somebody three feet from the basket. If you don't make that call, and then he starts telling the players, yeah, it's okay to start reaching in after a rebound. No. Let's get back and play defense. I didn't have a good look at that. 34 jumped really awkwardly, like he had somebody holding him or pushing him in the back, but I don't know. I would have been guessing. He can rewind it and look at it. Good rotation. You guys haven't picked up the rotation yet. Well, he rotated back and there you go, you picked up that one. There you go. You missed the first rotation. Yeah. Back while you were rotated once, missed it, you came back and everything was good. Yeah. There's stop signs right here. These are stop signs. I've been saying that. Oh yeah. Oh no, oh, I'm not going to stop the clock. They're not oh, stopping the clock and out of bounds and stop signs. Oh, they're stop signs. Stop signs. Stop signs. Stop, signs. Stop, signs. Stop, signs. stop signs to your partner. Like yeah. Doug's saying, it's not. Partner. It's not a pie. Yeah. It's not a pie. Okay. 
So get those. To these guys, talk to them. Talk to them. Easy, easy. Let them know you're watching. There you go. Could have been, could have been either way. But again, some preventative officiating goes a long way. Just right. simple, and that's that's on the, the lead. The lead's the best place to talk to them discreetly. And all I got to do is say, easy, guys, easy. Then if they don't listen, then you let your whistle do the talking. Yeah, guys, easy guys. Clean it up, clean it up. Yeah, yeah. Your feet, easy. You know, 35 got away with two legal screens. We're going to watch 35 minutes. 35? Get away. Okay. Watch 35 legal screens. It's usually off ball. It's usually going to be off ball. And that's generally going to be the C that's going to pick up those illegal screens. So again, that's another thing, just awareness. Know who, which players demand more of your attention. They're your GFUs, your problem children, that you try to try to talk out of trouble and keep a good flow. Do we know that the next foul is bonus? Seven minute mark is when they finally suck the arrow. You notice that? I didn't know that could be good. No, I didn't know that I can't even see it. Twice What's happening here? You had two in a row. Yeah, yeah they were right there on the So that, that's communication. <laughs> Whoever's still putting the ball in, look at your oh, two yeah. partners, make Looking sure they're ready. Um, the ball call that I think you might have had it on the top. The 35, I don't know who had it, one of you two had it. 35 got followed here, and he's like, what do you do? You, you remember that? That was up one yeah. of the time, you remember that? Oh yeah, when the coach yeah. was talking to yes. you? Yep. I, I just wonder what he did. I was just wondering what oh, he did. Oh, he got him on the elbow. And I, Not even on the shot. There was another one after. No, no, no. Right up here. He stole the ball, kind of. And I, I said the same thing. Look at it on camera. They would have had a good look. I, I didn't see a foul there. And he and and so I just said, look at it. And we had called a foul? Yeah. Yes. I think okay. 35 oh, lost. Kind of, he lost it. And I thought he, he ran through him. Okay. Yeah. That's, okay. That was my advantage. Um, <laughs> make sure now. It's an ugly game, all right. Mm -hmm. So what we need, so what we need to do is we got to we got to make sure we're in control. Talk to the players. Yep. Talk to yep. them. Thirty-four. Make sure you you guys are in control of the team because it, it's getting a little ugly in the post right now. Watch thirty-five. Yeah, yeah watch thirty-five. Just say, easy, easy, guys. Watch it. Both this is the stop sign, all right. Right here. You guys, you, you guys use this for a stop sign. Use it as a stop sign. Just, the, just have, the, have the arm out straight, not up here, right? Okay. All right. On so managing that, subs. That, on managing oh, on subs. managing yeah, subs. So just wait, wait okay. here. So your, so your stop sign's here. It's not up here. Our okay. subs have been poor. Yeah, subs have been poor. Um, but a whistle. That's what you, your whistle. If you hit the whistle, your partners know you got subs now. Oh, I know. When the ball rotates and you are the trail. Okay. So let's say I'm the trail. Got a lot of rotation. I'm the trail. right here and you had a how to get on top of it. You don't have to get on top of it right you can look inside out. You got a great look there yep. and then you straight line yourself. Oh, straight line yourself. No hurry. Right. If, yeah. if they get they get going down you, you still got a good look. So you understand what I'm saying? Yes. I mean the, the lead might come over and be like 15 feet from you, but it's alright. So stay there and officiate stay that. Stay there and please. officiate that. Yep. yep. Don't take I yourself out of a good angle. Um Pictures not getting ugly stop sign. Oh, when you call a fall, make sure you, you tell the guys where if you call a fall down here, nobody know where the ball is going out of bounds. Okay. First thing you do, tell them where it's gonna go out of bounds. It's the first thing you do, never report your fall on, on three pointers, step down, step down towards the hoop. So don't bail out. You guys are athletic enough, don't bail out, step towards the hoop more. Okay, what else you got to do? Hands up when the ball goes out of bounds. You gotta stop the clock first. Good mechanics, then any color and direction. And uh and that's kind of the bad thing about a running clock. Oh yeah. Oh, but okay. yeah. I, okay. still run 
to your mechanics. Yep. Yep. Still yep. 10 yep. second backcourt count. So, hey, seven minute mark is when you finally got the arrow set. Oh. So, My you're all responsible, we'll but mainly, mainly yeah. is R. After you throw it up yeah. and you got to step back or whatever, just take a take quick it. glance. Blades, and I set it right away in the tape. I go, you guys, the arrow's not set. And then I'm like, well, we'll worry about it later. And then finally it's asked, 13 like, yeah, minutes it went off the clock. But they, didn't, they didn't have the score right either. They were messing with that because then it was 5 to 2, then it was 2 to oh. 2, then it was 3 to 2. Yeah, we got to get the arrow. That's so this is hey, slow down. Control. Slow down on dead balls, manage subs. You're good. Okay. I'll go and talk them out of trouble. David, is the arrow switch? Is the arrow switch? Look over. Well, he didn't look over, but it did switch. So again, that's that's your responsibility. Good rotation. Good job, David, on that shot of not bailing, staying engaged. One way we, we do that is we actually force ourselves to step down on the shot, just like yeah, you're the C on a free throw. Take a step towards the basket and force. Okay. That's David's, yep, that's David's. But I, I mean, I can see it. He just left your primary, Ron. So I'm, I'm okay with that. A little wider since the ball's way out to the sideline. Yep. There you go. Right there's good. Talk them out of it. Say easy, guys. Good. See? See how they respond? Simple little verbal cue. Good job. You know what, guys, I just realized is uh, we screwed up the possession arrow. It was set, it was set for, for purple in the first set, and it or set that direction, and it never switched. It should have switched. It should have actually been white. Yeah, we never switched the arrow at halftime. And again, I mean, that's a pass because, you know, we're talking to you and distracting you at halftime. Ooh. You agree? Yeah. Think so? He was that straight up? Okay. He's walking into him? Yep. Okay. And you would have had a good look at that, Ron. You would have, you would have saw that. We were kind of straight line. It was perfect for him. Yeah. It was going away from the other end. Right. Good. Everybody's holding up one. Communication. Again, it's all dead ball. We're all on the same page. Two? Yeah. No, so, he, went, he went left hand, right hand. Oh, right oh. Hand. We're going to work on that in my classroom on seven. <laughs> so 35, the three is the right hand, the five is in the left hand. We'll, we'll work on that at seven o'clock. All right, I do like the call. That's a great job. Yeah. 35. Both of them guys. He's 35, hands on him, hands on him, holding. So anyway, back to that free throw uh, rebounding foul. I like that. Uh, double whistles, okay on that one too. Um, get there, get there, get there. Got 
David, you need to get a little hustle. Hustle as the new lead and receive the play. So again, Scott, you're, you're, we'd like to see you on the floor a little more, especially when he's on the edge of your primary. You're stuck in that corner a long ways away. Move to improve. Now get off the ball. There you go. Here, I should be in the ball. Watch the rebound. that you're not rotating there. Your C doesn't need you. It's just a one-on-one -on -one matchup. There's no post there. Uh, that's, I agree, stay put. Like I said earlier, generally you want to, rotating more is better than less, but um, you don't want to rotate just to rotate either. Okay, David, again, uh, just like I told Scott, you're stuck in that corner as far away from the play as possible. We want you on the court a little more. Engaged and you get a better look and it shows us that you're engaged in the play. Rotate, get over there, get over there. Not too late, yeah, that's good. Close down. All right, knees back. Good, good. Generally, I mean, the ball's over there. The next thing that's going to be coming is the post player flashing and the post. And if you can be ahead of that and receive that play, you're in a lot better position to, to make the call. And again, every team run, you know, the, the ball depends on the offense they run and kind of the flow and every game's a little different on rotating. Yeah, don't make the, don't make the block. Don't make the block tip. Ron, don't do that. There's no need for that. So what if you do that and your partner calls a foul? Of course it was blocked clean. The only time we make that signal is that the ball is tipped, tipped going into the backcourt. Who had the stop sign though? He did. When it shouldn't have been his, yeah. So David, good stop sign, good stop sign, but it should have been Scott. Yeah, I don't mind you both having it, but it should have been him over here. Good mechanics, you had one-handed mechanic, right arm up, right arm pointed, and then you took your left arm and pointed to the spot on the side. Good mechanics on that. Whoops. It's all yours, it's all yours, it's all yours. <laughs> the ball. So I don't know if the camera can see that, but it, like like the 35 said no body and 11 was bodying him a lot, yeah. sticking that knee out. Yeah, we were, you were distracted because we were talking about your position, but he didn't get out of, 35's a big boy, he just didn't dribble out of bounds on his own. I get it, you're, we were talking to you, you're a little distracted. Where's the ball, Ron? Tell your partner where the ball is, because that's that spot. It could go sideline, it could go baseline. It's right at the elbow. No, yeah. Tell them right away. Tell them right away, then your partners aren't guessing. Oh, you can get wider. Get wider. There you go, right there. Who's managing sub, 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 sub? Ron should have him. So you can see that he's distracted. You could even just turn to Scott and say, hold on, hold on. Yeah. He's always through. So Ron, don't turn your back to the court. Get. Great get. Nice call. And you have a best angle to see that. Went through his shoulder to get the ball. That's that's a good call. That's one we always want to make.
So hands up, you would have chopped it in when he touched it, and then when it hit out of bounds, then you stick your hand up and stop the clock again, and then point the direction. Nothing going on in your primary, so you can extend your primary a little bit, help out of the elbows. Right, get over there, the ball's coming. Not oh, too late. It's all right. This is kind of a weird offense. Tough to rotate on. There you go. Good rotation. If you feel yourself wanting to go, just go. Trust your instincts. It's kind of a feel thing. Good get. Good get. He was straight up long after the illegal contacts happened. Sub, sub. Sure, if he's calling for over the back, I agree. That was definitely not over the back. No. Is clear? Yeah. Yeah. Teach your kids to box out, coach, and then be a foul. I guess I wouldn't say that. I'd say if he would have boxed out properly, it would have been a foul. But there was no, he never played through him. He never displaced him, and he can go. He can reach over his head, over his back, around his shoulder. Totally legal. Two point game, seven and a half minutes to go. Four to two in the fouls. Good way to talk to him, Scott. I mean, look at as soon as you talk to him, look at he's they're a saint. Good no call, 35 turnaround, wanted, said something. I don't know what he said. Of course he wanted and one. Defense didn't do anything wrong.
can't, I didn't see what happened, why Ron didn't get back in time. I know you marked a three, had him up and down good. I don't know if it's a late rotation or he just kind of just got beat back, which happens. So uh, that was good help, David, to come in and, and uh, grab that call. Stay engaged in the play, Scott. It's on the line. Good, good get. Good get. That was that would have been hard to see uh, from your angle. Good get. Good signal. Way to stay engaged on that three point attempt. That's very good. Thanks, this is ugly. The ball went out of bounds and actually the baseline. So that's David's whistle. It's his line. Good job managing the sub, Ron. Good, good. I was just going to say move to improve, Ron, which you did. Nice job. All right, now. That's right at that intersection, David. So you got to recognize that R that Ron also went up for a three, and you need to drop. Because you both went up for three, and you both stayed. So that tells me you had two sets of eyes on two people, leaving leaving Scott to officiate eight people. So again, I get, I just say, settle down, son. Don't walk away from him if he's acting like that. Stop and look right at him. Say, so settle down. Don't, don't, don't get one here. Be smart. Yeah, don't walk right by a player that's being demonstrative. Stop and look him in the eye. I agree with that call. I'm the fastest back runner upper than there ever was. <laughs> uh, we got the first, I think we got the first ball where there was a bump real, real early, right away, or get that first ball, then there wouldn't have been anything on 11 at all. And it still agree. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. He's yeah. reaching in there. Yeah. You guys yeah. both marked a three here, right at that point of intersection when we covered that? Dead so, center. And I you were the trail, right? You're the trail. I was the trail. So you were right. Okay. You should have dropped, recognized right. okay. that he had it. Yep. So now we got you, Dead you center. two watching two players, and he's got yep. eight. Yep. Somebody was going on, you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, so you dropped it. Right. Well, you're right. Dead you're right. Center. No, you're a trail. Come here. Scott, you go back and officiate that and trail the play. Good hustle. Right. Don't ball watch, David. Make sure you stay in your primary. Trail the play, trail the play. Okay, this is what we we're talking about. Yeah, you want to be one lane away. That's that's good. Now, if you would have been on that far sideline, we would like you more to the center of the court. Nice pass. Good pass, good no call. Now, if there would have been a foul there, that actually would have been David's call because it was on his side, his primary. 
Keep talking to him, talk him out of trouble. Keep good flow to the game. Say good, just say good. Watch the elbows, guys. Don't hold at the elbows. Just 29-33. Oh, there we go. We're just really late with the score. Okay. So purple is up. White's got two to go for the bonus. Good. Nice job of getting in there, David. Avoid any issues. Just let them know you're right there. Nice and loud. Whose ball and where should it be? So it's within that circle, so that should go baseline. Anything within that circle is going to go baseline. That's that diagram we're talking about, a space shuttle. So again, coaches want it there. They've got most of their plays drawn up there. And plus, that's the way the book says we're supposed to do it. Little things, details. Back to a oh, four point game. We're at a minute. So, yep, get over there, make sure there's no issues. Good, good proximity. I need, I'd like you to move more to improve your angle. When the ball's moving, you should be moving. Just a step or two this way or that way. Good no call. That's not over the back. He just jumps higher than him. We got a one point game with 20 seconds. I don't know why they're not fouling. They got one to give to. I don't know, they got a bunch to give. There you go. Make sure the clock stops. No, it's like what they I think they got the ball with 21 seconds. Now they got, they're not going to be able to follow them four times in six seconds. They got to get a steal. I'm going to say, use call a timeout or something here. So again, you guys, it's important for you guys to know this situation because you should know that they want to foul so that you give them the quick foul. There you go. The clock did not stop. The clock did not stop. So again, as soon as as soon as the whistle blows, you guys got to look up at the clock and make sure. It, oh, we just call it technical. Maybe I think so. Yep. I guess so. We'll have to talk about it afterwards. I'm not sure what he did. I believe on 42 white. So we got to get everybody past the three point line. They don't have to go to half court. It's just like free throw restrictions. So 
So I believe that the tournament rules are one point in the ball for technical. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's technical foul, so it's going to be at the division line opposite table. Yep. So now we got to watch the clock. As soon as that whistle blows, we got to look up at the clock and make sure the clock stops. Opposite table, deepest would blow their whistle to end the, end the game. That'd be you, Ron. 